Sanctuary offering horse therapy is looking for a helping hand. Due to a lack of funding, it's had to spend a program that helped first responders recovering from PTSD and addiction. Team 12's Jen Wall joins us with more on why that program is so important and how we can help bring it back. All right, Jen, what do we need to do? All right, guys, there is a lot everyone can do, and it's super simple. All you have to do is go online, and we'll tell you exactly how in just a second. But first, I want to bring on Lacey Schuster. We have some stunning horses behind us here. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us about your amazing program that helps these first responders. Yes. So here at Hooncopy Programs, we just finished a 16-week grant to help first responders through equine therapy. And as you can see, we have a beautiful herd of healers here. And unfortunately, we ran out of funding for that program, and so we're seeking $30,000 in additional support from the community to be able to continue this very necessary program to help these individuals who are always there to help us. Yeah, definitely. And so people watching might wonder why is this form of therapy so important compared with maybe something more traditional? Why is it such a need and how does it help? I think for many individuals, they've done the traditional form of talk therapy, and for many of them, they just don't necessarily feel that they're understood. They don't feel that they're in the company of somebody who knows what they see every single day in their job and how the stress impacts them and how the trauma impacts them. And when they come to our groups, they're surrounded by their brothers and their sisters, and they're really understood something that I heard very often from our first responders was me too, but for feeling for the first time that there was somebody else who knew what they were feeling. Yeah, definitely. And then something we talked about earlier was just an incredibly sad stat that these first responders are dealing with. Can you share that with our viewers as well? Yes, um, there's the statistics and research are showing right now that more first responders are dying by suicide than they are in the line of duty. So this is just so important, and I know a lot of our viewers like to help, especially when there is a need. So you can do that. You can go to their website, whomcopy.org. We'll put it on our website too, 12news.com, and you can donate. Again, you need $30,000 to keep this program running, get it back up and running. We'll put that on our website, 12news.com.